Right, so this evening I've come out with a Day State Delta Wolf 177 sub 12 foot pound air rifle. I'm coming out after a few rabbits. I'm going to a sheep and dairy farm. Not the usual one I go to. This one's a little bit further from home. Um, I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone, to be honest, or, or two animals, if you like, because um, on this farm there's also a small friends and family kind of pheasant shoot. Now, um, he's just got his pheasant pulse in today. So, along with any rabbits I can find and rats with the air rifle, I've also brought with me a centerfire rifle just in case we bump into a fox. So, I know it's not the normal kind of thing on the uh, on the air gun show, and I will be keeping it very much to the air gun side of things. But um, if you're wondering why I'm carrying two rifles around, that's what the situation is. So anyway, I hope it's going to be an interesting video and I hope we bump into something this evening and get a few rabbits or some rats along the way. I hope you enjoy it. Right, so I've got myself a nice little spot here which overlooks um, a hedgerow just in front of me which you get a few rabbits come wandering out of there and then again and naturally as well that also attracts the fox to wander along this um, this little uh, sort of hedgerow here. Um, so yeah, I've got the centre fire set up there just in case we do bump into a fox and I've also got the Day State um, Delta Wolf sat next to me as well which is a perfect little tool for rabbiting. The hedgerow is probably about 50 metres away so it's a little bit of a stretch from here but um, I'm hoping that, um, that I'll probably get the best of my chance I think just after dark because there's quite open ground and um, there's quite a lot of rabbits just dotted around on this bank so I can have a little wander around and hopefully pick one or two of them off. So to spot with I'm testing out the infrared Gemini thermal binoculars. Uh, yeah again these aren't a cheap piece of kit but they are very nice so I'm going to be putting those through their paces and um, hopefully if I can remember which button the record button is then hopefully I can get a bit of footage as well through them so you can see what they're like. Other than that the as I say, the rifle's a Delta Wolf, and I've got sat on it the Pulsar C50 Day Night Scope. Um, I've used that on several videos in the past, and uh, it's a nice little scope, and it's nice and easy to record on, so it, uh, it's ideal for this kind of thing. Right, well, I'm not going to waffle on anymore. I'm going to sit quietly and um, see what comes along. So, uh, as you can see, it's pretty much dark now, and um, I've moved around the bank a little bit because I noticed there was a few more rabbits were coming out uh, along this bit of um, wood here. But unfortunately, they're a bit too far for well, they're definitely too far for any shots with the um, air rifle. Might be right with a rim fire or something, but um, for the air rifle, they're out at the moment about 120 meters or so. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay put here until it gets properly dark and then um, I can hopefully get in a bit closer under the cover of darkness and get a shot at one or two of those. There's a couple of badgers just coming out of the wood there. A few more rabbits up on the bank there. Well, I know we're doing a um, strictly air gun video here, but uh, for any of you guys that are interested that also shoot centre fire or rim fire, um, 
I was just sat here just waiting for that sky just to darken a little bit more so I didn't get silhouetted walking down the bank towards these few bunnies at the bottom here and a fox come along the edge of the cover just to my right making its way to the wood in front of me which is where the um, uh, the pheasant pennies and all the new pulks that have just gone in there this afternoon um, so that fox was about 170 metres and I just shot that using a, uh, a 223 centre fire and a thermal scope and um, because the rifle's moderated as well and out in the open like this it's not as loud as what you might think it would be and the rabbits that are out in front of me here they just didn't take any notice they just kind of a few of the closer ones just sort of put their heads up and looked around but by and large the majority of them are all still out happily feeding so uh, in a minute I'm going to head down and um, see if I can start uh, getting into them a little bit. Well, I feel like I'm about to ward off a zombie apocalypse or something out of an episode of Die Hard or something with two rifles. But, um, I'm just going to walk along this hedgerow here. I've come down off the bank because um, the wind's dropped right away to next to nothing now. And what little wind there is, just a little breeze, is just coming along the hedgerow directly towards me. So I'll come down the bottom here. I'm just going to walk into the wind and um, see if I can knock over two or three rabbits. So I've got this rifle zeroed at 30 metres with a 177 sub 12 foot pound. Um, so the crosshead is my 30 metre zero. Then with that and the pellets that I'm using, then the first mill dot is my 50 metre zero, second one is 60 metres, and the third one is 70 metres, almost precisely that. So um, yeah, it's a... Uh, actually works really nicely with the Pulsar um, C50 there. So that rabbit, that was at 60 metres, so I just held over on the second mill dot, and that went down lovely, it was a good clean headshot, and didn't know anything about that. So let's go and pick that one up. Well, it's a nice healthy looking rabbit. Well, it's not healthy, it's dead, but um, it was healthy. And uh, that's gone over to a, a really nicely placed headshot there. That um, just goes to show just how accurate that little rifle is, even at 60 metres, that's just put that pellet right on the money. So, yeah, you can't grumble at that. All right, let's see if we can find a couple more. All right, so I'll hang this one on the fence. I've got enough stuff to carry as it is.
so it's definitely worth hanging around if it's on the fence like that a because I've got to carry them but b there's quite a few um, badges along this uh, bottom of this wood I've seen four or five when I sat up on the bank there youngsters so I'm pretty sure that if any of those came uh, along and I just left them down by the fence or just where they fell then uh, I'm pretty sure that they would snuffle them up pretty quick. So that again was basically a repeat performance of the first one, um, another 60 metre one, again just on that second mill dot, over it went. So I need to be a little bit careful here because there's one or two hairs around on this ground as well and the farmer wants to keep the hairs on here, he likes to see a few hairs about. So I need to be very careful not to shoot any big bunnies. I thought that one looked a bit big, that one's a hair. You can tell a hair, if you're not sure and you just watch it for a minute when it moves rather than like a rabbit sort of hops along these lumber along um, so yeah they're quite distinctive so it seems that when I get to within sort of anything less than 90 to, to 100 meters the rabbit seems to be quite kind of switched on and um, I think they're uh, they're just hearing any little any little noise because the winds drop so much. Uh, it's uh, they're just picking up on any sort of like rustle of clothing or or me just walking through the longer bits of grass. Uh, anything metallic, which doesn't really help when you're carrying two rifles. So uh, I've spooked quite a few, which have run in, but we persevere. So I've got two rabbits that are out and they're both about 70 metres away together and um, I don't think I'm going to get much closer because they're looking a bit jumpy already so I'm going to take a shot from here.
pleased with those two shots. Both those rabbits were about 70 metres and um, well, as you can see, this little rifle is just such a tack driver that it's just putting those pellets exactly where I want them. I'm just turning them, turning those rabbits off, just switch them off a treat. Put that pellet just behind the eye and the ear, just in here. And um, yeah, that's their lot, I don't think about it. So I think, um, I think I'm going to leave it on those last couple of rabbits. That's four rabbits down. But uh, we're getting a little bit of mist. It's just starting to sit just above the, the grass in this in this bowl here. And um, I'm starting to just get a little bit of the IR bouncing back in some places. It sort of drifts in then clears again. With a the thermal I can see it. I can see them no problem with these. But uh, yeah, it's just caused me a little bit of bother with, with the night vision, which is it's not the scope, it's just one of those things. It's the same with any night vision device. The, uh, the infrared light bounces back off of the moisture in the air. But anyway, four rabbits down, so I'm pleased with that. I'm just going to whiz out, grab them last couple of rabbits, pick the ones up on the fence, and uh, I think that's me done for the evening. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and thanks for watching. If you aren't a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you.